Hey everybody, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw me making fun of Desigu Locks this week for being particularly insecure. I want to do a quick video to explain to everybody what makes them so insecure. So I have here three different kinds of dial combination locks, the Master 175, Sesame, and Desigu. Now they all have the same vulnerability in them, which is that there's a plate on the inside that, if you can lift it, will cause the latch to pop open. In order to lift the plate, you need to work a tool in behind the dials, right here. To work that tool in, you require a very thin tool, generally. This one is called a Peterson knife, it is made by Peterson Picks, and it is extremely thin and extremely fragile. It can very easily bend and break. While teaching lockpicking classes, I've lost dozens of these, and they're fairly expensive, which kind of sucks. Now, in the master or sesame, you would work this, this tool in behind the dial. The dial needs to be set to the proper number already, so you need to potentially experiment with 10 different numbers. On mine, the combinations tend to get reset quite frequently, but I believe the second digit is zero. So if I work it in, I probably won't open it on the video because it's actually a little bit of a trial and error, but you can work it in behind the, the number, lift the plate, and then open the latch. So as you can see from my struggling, it is not easy to do this. Sesame has a very similar problem, but it's actually even tighter and harder to, to slide this in. The Disagus, on the other hand, have extremely wide gaps between the dials. So I can take this tool, which is a uh, 18, 18 thousandths of an inch pick from Peterson also, and slide it very easily behind the dial. I can slide the entire thing into a lock, lift the plate, and then pull it open with very little effort and very little risk. I actually ordered like six more of these once I found out how easy it was, and I will be definitely using these ones for any first step of teaching lock picking or teaching lock shimming. Much easier to uh, not break your tool.